Mr. Speaker, it's time. It's long past time for us to take a serious and for some a second look at Planned Parenthood, its origins, and the fact that since 1973, the year the U.S. Supreme Court issued its infamous Roe v. Wade decision and legalized abortion, that approximately four and a half million babies, disproportionately African American and Hispanic, have died in Planned Parenthood clinics. It's time to look past the slogans and the rhetoric and the cheap sophistry, the euphemisms that are used to mask and to cloak this deed that kills a child. It's time to take a serious and for some a second look at Planned Parenthood. Abortion is big business and is destroying the next generation of Americans. And you and I, Mr. Speaker, are subsidizing it. Tragically, the seemingly benign Planned Parenthood, which works overtime to market its image and its brand, is in the grisly business of dismembering the fragile bodies of unborn children with chemicals, sharp knives, and hideous suction machines that are 25 to 30 times more powerful than a vacuum cleaner used at home. Planned Parenthood ought to be known as Child Abuse Incorporated, for the large number of children, four and a half million, that it has already killed and continues to kill, all by be while being subsidized by American taxpayers. This is not a business of healing or nurturing or caring. This is a business of destroying the most vulnerable and weakest members of our society, the voiceless. For Planned Parenthood, business is good. Violence against children pays handsomely. In 2006, it actually increased the number of abortions it performed by nearly 25,000, while abortions nationwide were in decline, for a total of 289,750, a new pathetic record of kids killed even for Planned Parenthood. For so-called medical abortions, Planned Parenthood quotes prices from $350 to $650. For surgical abortions, they earn $350 to $900 apiece. These fees for so-called services rendered boosts their bottom line of this big business. To put the annual number of child deaths in perspective, I asked my colleagues in the American people to picture this. 71,000 fans filled the University of Phoenix Stadium to watch the Super Bowl this past February. It was a great game. My team won, the Giants, happy to say. But the number of unborn babies whose lives were taken from them before they could take their first breath by this one corporation in one year could have filled that enormous stadium more than four times over. Planned Parenthood is now responsible for committing more than one out of every five abortions performed in the United States of America. If the number of abortions performed alone doesn't convince you of Planned Parenthood's agenda, just compare it with other services it provides to pregnant women. Planned Parenthood, they got the word parenthood in their, in their slogan, in their name, but they provided a mere 11,000 clients with prenatal care. You walk into a Planned Parenthood clinic, you, there's a ratio of one parent for every 26 women who lose their children to abortion. After it was revealed that Planned Parenthood referred a meager 1,414 clients to adoption services in 2004, Planned Parenthood stopped reporting this minuscule adoption referral number.